I was kept away from the country for a long time. And uh, I was told that, I was told two things. One, that my life was not safe. And the second, that if I returned, I would jeopardize the political standing of my sister. So it was fear and guilt which they played on. The fear didn't matter for me because I knew I was innocent. But the guilt continued to linger. When she was first time Prime Minister and I didn't want to come back because I didn't want to live with the thought that if I had returned and somehow government fell out, I would forever be held responsible. But in the end, it was no longer possible to stay out. And my mother herself had, was telling me from the beginning that you must come back and face the cases in court. And finally, it was her opinion and others' overwhelming opinion which I had to follow. I could not forever uh, uh, base my politics on the on the remote possibility that it would hurt my sister's politics. And this 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 government which we have now, which is elected on, which got its votes on the blood of Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, twice got its votes, twice was came to power on his sacrifice is absolutely directionless. It has no direction. Uh, it seems to be in a state of drift. It is corrupt to the core. Its only purpose seems to be to, to earn money by hook or by crook. I had recently mentioned that it is worse than, it's not a government, it is Alibaba and Charlie's 40 thieves. And if I reply to it in any great detail, uh, my sister would think I'm buying for her position, which I'm not. But you have to have you have to have not only a competent government, but it must be a clean government. I think at times uh, you have to uh, uh, you have to govern uh, not only with a warm heart and a cold cool mind, but also with clean hands. I mean, sometimes those hands may have to be iron-fisted, but they must be clean. This government has failed in all fields except one. It has excelled in the art of plunder. It has failed in all other fields, including foreign policy. Pakistan today is more isolated than perhaps it ever was. Uh, adventure in Afghanistan has misfired, backfired, there's anarchy there. Iran and China are not prepared to support us on vital issues. The Muslim world as a bloc which supported us, the Arab and Muslim world which as a bloc supported us during past period, especially during Mr. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto's time, has uh, declined to do so now. Uh, aside from a rotten economic system and, and social collapse, the foreign policy has been a failure. Mr. Uh, Murtaza wants that his father's party, the way it was clean, no outsiders, I mean, that he wants a clean party. He says, why, if we are asking for democracy, why don't we have democracy in the party? Why don't we have elections in the party? And he's right. She made uh, police, women police, okay? Did you read about the German lady who was robbed? I read it in the papers. Up. The German lady, somebody went to her house and robbed her of her Deutsch marks or whatever. She went to the lady police office, police station, and the police women, they beat her up, arrested her, put her in the thana, and robbed her more. Now, what I'm saying is that who are these police women? You know, if she thought about it, or if she had discussed it with me, I would have said, get police women from the villages. There are a lot of women from the villages who are clean, who don't know the chalaki and cha you know things of the city. They have not lived in the cities and they are more honest. Believe me, they are much more honest. Mr. Bhutto's government was a government with a comprehensive socio-economic program and also a vital political program. He provided the first constitution, democratic constitution to this country. He provided uh, land reforms to the peasants, uh, to the farmers. He provided uh, labor reforms to the laborers. He 